It's got to be really, really hard for him to be away from his family for this long a period of time to try and make this dream a reality. It's extremely hard for me to be away from my family, but it would be harder to be in Colombia with them and not have this opportunity. It's a challenge for me every day. I have a two-year-old son that I'm not able to see. He's not growing up with his father. They understand the way the way my life is, the, the, the path I chose, and they know in their heart. You know. What are you? You know, when I asked the question of him about you know, being away from your family for, for so long and uh, and not being able to see them, I was actually quite taken aback that it. It created that kind of uh, a situation. I've been, you know, I've been doing these meetings for over 20 years, these fighter meetings, and that's got to be the first time that I've ever seen that kind of an emotional breakdown from a from a fighter. I, I've never seen that happen before, and, and to me, it was a, a reminder of the level of commitment that a fighter at this level has to have to not see your two-year-old son for 10 months out of the year. It's, it's pretty devastating, and you saw that in his face. I think I think that's that's great that you know there's a human side to all of this. I mean, a lot of people, you know, just think that we just show up and we fight, you know, but they don't understand the cause that we're fighting for and the reason that we're fighting for. 